As I work on my resiliency, becoming a better father, husband, and financial planner during the stay-at-home orders, I am seeing a big benefit, financially speaking. I'm Mitchell Hockenberry, and I can't help but see an optimistic viewpoint, even in the face of bad news. As I record this on May Day, the Bureau of Economic Analysis just released its advanced estimate on U.S. GDP for the first quarter of 2020. GDP contracted nearly 5%. That is huge. I mean, it makes sense as consumer spending accounts for 68% of GDP. Huge declines in healthcare down 18%, transportation down 29%, recreation down 32%, and food services and accommodations are down 30%. Those are big numbers. But what makes me optimistic is maybe when the stay-at-home orders are over, folks will recognize that they don't need to eat out so much. They don't need to take elaborate vacations. They don't need a $700 a month car payment. Wouldn't it be nice for people to take this as a reset button on their spending? Look, I'm not downplaying the hurt many of us are under right now. What I am trying to do is shine a light on what many of us thought of as needs when they weren't really but once. Sometimes not even once, rather there was peer pressure to spend. And sometimes that peer pressure was in the person's own mind and not even real. I want to encourage you to reprioritize during this time. Come out stronger, make better decisions with money so you can win with money. Thanks for watching and I'd be honored if you subscribe.